Uh, and for this song, uh, uh, I can't really remember why it came out the way it did. But I just felt That's an easy riff to do a, a cool vocal line over, you know. That's my favorite part. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's very cool. It do you find that it's it's a lot different doing the vocals live and doing them in the studio, or when you record, do you? I got more feeling when I do it live because the uh, you know especially if, if I got a good sound on stage. But that vocal line just, it's like the song Demon of the Fall. When we play that song, we go insane. It's just what the song brings out. And with this song, it's just feeling, you know, the entire song. It has uh, some aggressive parts in the middle. And those riffs are, are very simple to play, so we can just go wild with those riffs. But uh, I think, you know, I'm pretty surprised that you say that we sound like the album, because we, we, we double track so many things on the albums. But what we do is that we try to recreate in a live situation the, th the stuff you actually hear, if you know what I mean. So, that of course is going to be there. Uh, okay, moving on. Um, we'll go back to the don't expect because I hate and we all hate you know music that you can that you know what's gonna come. So <laughs> there's a little vocal line <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> there's a vocal line over I don't know if I'm should, should, should sing inside it. That's also one of the solo riffs, or maybe the solo riff, I don't know. It's the solo, the solo riff <laughs> in the song. We try to put a, a riff and a solo in, in each song, you know, because people have been complaining ever since, because the first time we had a lot of soloing going on. Uh, on the second album it was less, you know, people started complaining all the time. They wanted more solos. And we like solos too, but we're no Jeff Loomis. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we just kind of basically forgot about it. But on this album we kind of returned to the solos in a way. But they're mostly simple stuff. I can't remember the original solos. I had to do a different solo. I tried to play it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I just got uh, half of the solo I could remember, but the first half I couldn't remember what I was playing. You do it? Uh, three, three. solo, my fingers were all, it was puss and uh, basically gore <laughs> because I broke my fingers on the first solo which was not good but uh, there I go and that goes into the, the first screaming bit of this song. Most of the people who don't listen to death metal really can't seem to understand the screaming bits as, as you put it. Um, how, do you, how do you describe to people the um, 
the reason that that you do those vocals? I think it's uh, it's the most aggressive vocal style there is. If you know what I mean? And Opeth has always been about dynamics, and not only in the music. You know, we have all these soft parts and some very very heavy parts, and the same goes with the vocals. Uh, so we just try, try to cover a lot of ground, you know, and the death metal vocals, it's just sheer aggression. It's no other music style that can come close to the same aggressiveness, if you know what I mean. So we've done that for a long time now, so we, we, I think we're going to stick to it. You know, it's part of our sound, you know. But I know a lot of people have told us, why, why, why the hell do you do that, you know. You will be a lot more famous or whatever. But we don't, you know, we, we, we love it. Yes. We have a background of death metal anyway, so as long as we love it, we won't you know, leave it out. So.